Today was the day that Lakey the ladder engine got to try out her new siren, and she was very happy about it. We need loud sirens so people can hear us fire trucks from front to rear. We travel so quick and get there so fast. I race on ahead. I'm never the last. We hoist up our... <laughs> Jeepers creepers, what the heck is that? Holy Magilla Cutty, we better go and check it out in case there's a fire. Hey, you guys in there, let's call for help. I wonder where Lakey is, Pete. She should have been back by now. Tip, I wouldn't worry about Lakey. She's off having fun and making lots of noise with her new siren. I don't think so, Pete. I haven't heard her siren for a long time. That was Lakey who sent in the alarm. Something fell from the sky and started a fire in Farmer Noggenbunker's field. Let's get going. It was me who saw something that fell from the sky. I knew it then, and can honestly say, it was the greatest, most wonderful day. Weiser started his old engine and slowly headed off in the direction of Farmer Noggenbacher's field. Chief McSpeed and Firefighter Oscar hurried over to see the hole in the ground. Any idea what fell from the sky, Lakey? No, Commander. When I got here, all that was left was a smoldering hole in the ground. Well, here's something interesting. Come and look at this, everyone. If you look carefully at the ground, you can see some marks, like something was being dragged away from here. That was probably made by Farmer Noggenbonker pulling something behind his tractor. I mean, what else could it be? At that very moment, Wiser arrived on the scene. I came as fast as I could. What did you find? Just this hole, Wiser, and some marks in the ground. Hearing the sirens in his field, Farmer Noggenbonker drove up on his tractor to see what was happening. Maybe people will believe me when I tell them some of the things I see out here plowing the fields. My, my, my. This can mean only one thing. They've come back. Would you please explain to me what you are talking about? 
What was that? Don't make any noise. Whoever it is almost started a fire. In the name of the Flowerville Fire Department, I command you to come out of there right now and show yourselves. To everyone's surprise, a pair of tiny little aliens emerged from the woods, pulling an even tinier flying saucer behind them. What in frozen raspberries are they? I mean, are those... Am I seeing things? Don't scare them, Commander. Scare them? I'm the one who should be scared. They're the ones from another planet. Yeah, many groovy. Now wait a second. The little aliens move toward Lakey, floating just above the ground. Do you think they understood? I don't believe they would ever do anything to harm us. They must have crashed. It must have been an accident. Out of the blue, another little flying saucer came in for a landing, right in the middle of Farmer Nagenbacher's field. I'm dreaming, aren't I? Oh, boy. I think we need more help. Just relax and stay calm. Two more tiny aliens appeared from their flying saucer and spoke. Zippy, flam, kippy. Wally, nippet, zooby. I sure wish I could understand what they were saying. What are they doing here? Have you seen these things before? Don't call them things. You might hurt their feelings. Let me not eat fruit fruit. I'm going to have to report this. What does that mean? Suddenly, both of the tiny flying saucers lifted off into the blue sky, and all four of the aliens disappeared into the woods without saying a word. First time I ever saw one of them up close like that. They are usually very shy and don't like to be seen. They seem very friendly. Now, let me get this right, Farmer Nogginbonker. Are you saying you have actually seen these little tykes before? I sure have. Lots of times. I just hope they realize how dangerous it is for them to land like that. They could cause a fire. We need a plan. We have to do something. This time, the four little aliens came out of the woods, and they were carrying something on their heads. Oh, look. They collected some flowers. Run into your belly. Billy, Billy. Probably they don't have flowers where they live. Run into your belly, Billy. The four aliens' tummies lit up brightly, and a strange sound filled the air. Soon after, a pair of flying saucers appeared overhead and landed safely in the field. Nobody is going to believe us. Sure they will, Commander. Everyone loves flowers. They're the most beautiful things on Earth. That's what I would want if I came here from somewhere else. The last of the aliens climbed into the flying saucer, and then they flew away into the sky. What do you think they do with the flowers? Maybe they eat them. Or smell them. Do you think they'll ever come back? 
I think as long as we have beautiful flowers, anything is possible. Dilly Dilly! Dilly Dilly! Dilly Dilly! 